Good day. This is Robert Inkler and welcome to this explainer on investment traps. An investment trap it can take place because of complementarities, which means that whatever is optimal for an individual investor, a person or a firm might not be optimal from a social point of view. Or to put it slightly more formally, the marginal private benefits to any investments are lower than the marginal social benefits. Um, so if a government would, uh, could dictate whether investment takes place, they might say, well, everybody should invest uh, and, and everybody would have a positive return. But if nobody else does, uh, then, uh, then it's not optimal for any individual to start investing. As a result, uh, we might get multiple equilibria and in, in specifically a bad equilibrium with, without investment and a good equilibrium with a lot of investment. And additionally, there might be, uh, might be more specific problems with, uh, with investments that, that do not take place, the so-called delay problem. Now, this is important for development policy because if there is such an investment trap for whatever reason, um, marginal small policies will have little effect. You need a big push to move to a, to a better equilibrium. In addition, that big push might not be uh, a permanent feature because a temporary policy could push the economy to the good equilibrium and does have a permanent effect. Now to make this a little more clear, uh, we, in this following figure shows uh, how we can get multiple equilibria. So the curvy line here is, the so is a reaction function. So it tells us uh, what the, uh, in the privately rational decision on the vertical axis, the privately rational decision would be given the expected decision by other agents. So so this, is, uh, this has a game theoretical flavor. What is the right investment level given what you expect everybody else to do? Now, if we look more, more closely, we can see that point A marked here uh, cannot be a equilibrium. Why not? Uh, because um, in, at point A, what is uh, rational for an individual uh, would be higher than what they expect others to do. So A could not actually happen because if, the, if you expect others to invest more, you will uh, increase your investments as well until you get to a point where uh, the privately rational decision is equal to the uh, expected decision by others. Okay? So you basically follow what everybody else uh, is doing. Um, and you form your expectations on that. So any equilibrium will be on this diagonal line. Okay. Point B is another example here. Um, the expected uh, the investments by the individual is less than what they, they expect others to do. So um, the individual will reduce their investment until well, will not actually uh, invest at point B. Uh, but instead adjust their own decision until they get to uh, this equilibrium point. Now in this setup, there are two equilibria or two stable equilibria. You can see that this point over here is unstable because if you're ever so slightly below here, then uh, the, the, the privately rational decisions are, are less than the expected decision by others. So you walk down the reaction curve until you hit this equilibrium. Similarly, if you're at this point above, um, you're the, what's privately rational is higher than what they expect others to do. Um, so you'll uh, walk down the reaction curve until you get to this equilibrium. Now here, this is the good equilibrium, obviously, because, um, uh, because investment levels are much higher than in the bad equilibrium over here. This also suggests that you need a big push. 
I mean, if you have a, have a small policy change that would uh, that might induce uh, well, that, that that could shift the, the privately rational decisions, um, as long as you don't pass this uh, unstable equilibrium point, you will always drop down back to this bad equilibrium. So you need a big push to get you past the, un the, the unstable point, and then you can reach the good equilibrium. Of course, this is stylized, and we don't ex actually know how this reaction curve would look in general. Um, but this is a, but it, this is a common feature that you might have these multiple equilibria, um, and uh, you need to shift everybody's expectations along with what is privately rational. Now, a special case uh, uh, is uh, the so-called delay problem. And again, this is also a investment trap because what would be socially optimal does not happen because it's not privately rational. Um, and this, uh, this here, the example of the, the specific setting is on increasing returns to scale. Uh, for instance, setting up uh, a power transmission uh, grid or um, or a, a fixed telephone network. So there would be large and fixed setup cost of production. And after that, um, uh, if, if you can produce a lot, you'll, your cost dec decline. Um, so in this, uh, in this example, let's say there's, an, uh, there's a monopolist uh, who, with a cost function given by this blue line. So this blue line is decre dec decreasing over the full range, which means there are increasing returns to scale. So at higher levels of production, there are lower costs. Now, let's say the, the, the market uh, situation is such that the monopolist will produce at point Q. Um, now, and, uh, and then, suppose there is a potential new entrant. Now this potential new entrant um, can, um, uh, has a much lower cost function. So at every point, the, the cost function of the new technology is below that of the old one. In other words, uh, it, it would be socially optimal for this market to switch uh, in its entirety to the new technology and a new provider. However, uh, if this new provider hasn't produced yet, it will have a much higher cost than the old producer at its, at its large scale. Um, especially if it were to set, if this old producer would set its um, price above average cost, so over here, then it would take until the new, it would, would take the new producer until Q star to have average cost below those of the price of the monopolist. In other words, uh, this new entrant will not be successful unless they can get enough funding to reach point Q star. So that's another example of how you might get an investment trap. Again, in general, um, investment traps can occur because socially beneficial investment does not take place because it's not privately optimal, and it's typically and it's uh, and it's related to um, the fact that the profitability of one investment depends on the investments by others. Um, uh, this is an important topic, in particular for economic development. Because it's uh, it, it's unless we know how to get investment started, we will not know how uh, countries will grow sustainably.